Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on uh, general purpose relays and multi purpose relays. I like to have a few of these in my truck uh, at all times. Uh, they're useful in a variety of instances um, where you were. Uh, maybe I want to open and close 24 volt contacts and I want to use a 24 volt coil um, coming off of the thermostat or something like that. Uh, this is a 24 volt coil on this particular uh, general purpose relay. Um, there's other ones that have 120 volts, such as this one right here. That one has a 120 volt coil, all right? Um, but we'll just focus for now on the 24 volt coil. All right, you can get them in 24 volt coil, 120 volt, or uh, 208, 240 uh, volt coils. All right, the coils right here, right there. All right, if you ever measured resistance across the coil, which you can see, hopefully you can see these wires. There's a wire right there, and there's a wire right there. All right, and they're coming up to those sets of contacts. You can tell what part is the con is the um, contacts with the coil because they're lower. They're always lower. See how this is high right here and then it sinks down to the lower section so you can quickly identify that this, these two terminals right here are the uh, are the 24 volt coil. Alright, so if you test it here you should have resistance when you have this all unplugged off of uh, uh, take all the electrical wiring out and make sure it's not powered obviously then take your resistance reading here and you should get you know maybe somewhere between 10 and 20 ohms of resistance on a 24 volt uh, general purpose multi-purpose uh, relay all right so how they work um, one and three are normally open one and two normally closed so it actually has the wiring diagram imprinted right on the top of this thing all right when you power it one and two open which then one and three close. So they'll close the electrical circuit. So it doesn't matter if you have the hot coming in here and then leaving here or hot coming in here and leaving through here. All right, um, it doesn't matter. And also the coil doesn't matter either. If you have the hot coming in here and then the common attached here or the hot here and the common attached there, it doesn't matter. All right, uh, this particular one is missing some of the contacts and that's because this is likely out of a uh, fan control. Um, and a fan control, this is actually plugged in. You actually plug it right in to the side of the fan control, and they may not have needed these. So the, the um, maybe when they were building the fan controls, you know, they got a cheaper uh, general purpose relay um, just to save save some sense. But anyway, some some are like this. All right, the type that you would like to keep in your truck. You know, you'd like to have two sets um, of contacts so that maybe you could have one that's normally uh, open and then maybe one that's normally closed and then when you power that here and here then then maybe you'll what's going to happen is this set of normally closed contacts is going to be open and this set of normally open contacts will close okay so that's just a quick rundown on the general purpose relays hope you enjoyed yourself and see you next time AC service tech